major rulings from the Supreme Court today. One strikes down President Biden's student loan forgiveness plan. The other siding with a website designer who refused to design websites for same-sex couples. WGN's Jewel Hillary joining us now with more on these major decisions. Yeah, Micah, so as we know yesterday, the Supreme Court ruled against affirmative action. And today, as you mentioned, two more really big button issues set to impact millions of Americans. Despite of today's defeat, President Joe Biden says he's determined not to give up. We need to find a new way and we're moving as fast as we can. A sharply divided Supreme Court overruled the president's $400 billion plan to cancel or reduce federal student loan debts for millions of Americans. My plan would not only have life been life changing for millions of Americans, it would have been good for the American economy. In response to the ruling, Governor Pritzker in part says, with this latest decision, the court stacked with some of the most elite college degrees on earth, told millions of low and middle income people that higher education should return to being predominantly the province of the wealthiest Americans. The president says he will now use the Higher Education Act as an avenue to offer relief to millions of Americans with college debt. I will allow Secretary Cardona, who's with me today, to compromise, waive, or release loans under certain circumstances. The high court also ruled today that Lori Smith, a Christian graphic artist with a business called 303 Creative, can refuse to create a wedding website for same-sex couples. Today's ruling has many questioning the consequences of the decision. I don't know what's going to happen in terms of a website designer, for instance, who wishes to not design a website for interracial couples. In October 2022, Thomas More Society attorneys won the Tastries Bakery lawsuit, a similar case involving a cake designer named Kathy Miller, who declined to create a custom wedding cake celebrating same-sex marriage. In response to today's ruling, an attorney with the law firm writes, we are optimistic that the ruling in 303 Creative will protect all creative professionals involved in the wedding industry, including Kathy Miller. Political science professor Stephen Caliendo says the high court's recent rulings favoring the conservative justice's opinions are stripping away hard fought rights. So as we've seen last year in the Dobbs decision and this year with the affirmative action cases in particular, uh, and even with, with respect to LGBTQ rights, um, we're going back to an earlier time. Well, student loan repayments have been on hold since the start of the pandemic. Those payments are set to resume in October. The president said his administration is creating a temporary 12-month on-ramp repayment program that will help eliminate the threat for of default, rather, for those not able to pay their loans down. All right, Jill, thank you.